Hi there. I spent some time to uh, look into the Captain Lifecycle Toolkit. There's some great demos from Thomas Schutz already out there, but I thought I want to create my own demo based on K3S Lightweight Kubernetes using Argo CD as the GitOps tool, using Prometheus, using Grafana, and also Slack. So what I've built now is a demo that you can just run on any Linux machine. In my case, I'm using AWS EC2 instances, and it takes about really five minutes. And what it does, it sets up Argo, Captain Lifecycle Toolkit, obviously, installs Prometheus Grafana, exposes everything through an ingress, and then also uses a sample app. And it integrates it with, the, with Slack, meaning every time you deploy with Argo, Captain will intercept the deployment and will then execute pre and post deployment tasks, as we call them. And I just chose to use uh, a Slack notification. So there's multiple options you have. You can either do the manual install, so you learn every step, or you just go through the automated install where you just need to clone that repo. You need to fork it as well because I have uh, the sample app and you obviously want to then deploy different versions of your app so you can make these changes in your Git repository. Uh, optionally, you can also install Dynatrace one agent if you expose these variables. You can also do the Slack notification and then you just execute that script, install KLT on K3S. That's it. And at the end, you get the output. So what I've done, uh, I have a forked this repo because then I can always make changes to my sample app, as you see here, right? This is the simple node dev. And basically you see here the captain tasks for sending uh, the Slack notification. There's also captain tasks that I've prepared for evaluations. This is for uh, Prometheus um, querying SLOs. The real thing though is, and the only thing really that you need to do with any type of app, if you have your deployment, the only thing you need to do, and let me zoom in here, is uh, you need to annotate your deployment with uh, Captain Workload, Captain Version, and then you can specify your pre and post deployment tasks or evaluations. And I'm just referencing here the task. So I've, I've installed all this. Where did I install it? I have it here on my EC2 machine. That means really what I've done, I've just cloned that repo, I checked it out, and then I ran install KLT. And if you look at this, get pods, then right, this was all that was installed. There's obviously the core, there is all the monitoring components, that's Prometheus, there's Argo that is installed. Uh, what else? The lifecycle toolkit itself is installed, and I have already run a couple of deployments. This is why you see the simple node dev uh, namespace with my sample app. So now let's me go, let me go back. Really, what you have, uh, this the, the app will leverage uh, your IP address, the public IP address of your machine. I'm using NIP.io here. If you have your own DNS, then obviously you can use your own DNS, but by default, I'm just using the public IP address. So that means I can go to Argo CD, your IP.nip.io, and after about five minutes of running that script, you get to see Argo pre-configured with the app already because the install script also installs the app. What else do we have? Grafana, Grafana dot, same thing, right? You get full access to the dashboards. There's a couple of dashboards here that come with the install. If you go in here, let me zoom in a little bit, the default dashboards, captain applications, lifecycle toolkit metrics, workloads, and so on. You can see here a lot of cool uh, default dashboards that we have. Let me go back to the captain applications. You can see here over the last three hours, I ran a couple of deployments. They were all successful. Uh, the team did a great job in also providing metrics around time between deployments, deployment time itself, how many are successful, how many are failed. Your Dora metrics. And if I scroll down here, you also see the traces because one of the things that the Captain Lifecycle Toolkit does pretty well in the beginning, or like kind of the core capabilities, it's automatically giving you an open telemetry distributed trace. So when I deploy a new version of my app, I automatically get an OTEL trace with uh, that includes everything that the Captain Lifecycle uh, Toolkit does, uh, pre deployment validations, the actual app deployment when Kubernetes deploys the app and also uh, any type of post-deployment uh, notifications. Now, the only thing I need to do in case I want to, you know, basically uh, deploy a new app. So this is now my cloned repo. That's basically the repo that Argo, right? Here's Argo. Argo has this repo here in the Argo app. That's my KLT demo. The only thing I want to do is if I want to change the deployment, I'm just going in here and make a quick change. I'm going from version 3.0 to version 4.0, so I'm changing the captain version information here, and I'm also changing, obviously, the container itself, and then I'm just doing updates to v4.0, 
401 and I commit. What that means is, right, Argo will now hopefully pick up that change. Let's see, refresh. Here we go, it's progressing. Um, it will hopefully sync soon, right? Because Argo is my GitOps operator. It will deploy my changes, but then Captain Lifecycle Toolkit really hooks in. And uh, here we go, we see simple notice being deployed. Um, the Captain Lifecycle Toolkit kicks in, does pre and post deployment checks. And in my pre-deployment check, uh, I have specified, if you remember, on my repository, let me go back, as a pre-deployment task, I want to execute the notify task. The notify task is a JavaScript uh, function here under Captain Tasks, right? I just used this one here. This is actually from the example that was put out there by Thomas. Um, Captain allows you to define any type of JavaScript. There will be more features coming, but what I'm basically doing here, I'm just sending a select notification. So everything happens through configuration. By the way, here is my app. That was the one before, I think now build number three. That was the old one that is deployed. Now version four will be deployed. Um, and as this is happening, let's keep an eye on it. I should, if I refresh here, see my deployments going through. Here we go, simple node, right? Still deploying. Uh, I should see in my dashboards, if I refresh here, Let's see if I get all the numbers. Deployments not last three hours, yeah, last six hours. Let's go back a little bit. Been doing stuff over the time. Simple note. Should see an active deployment coming in, hopefully anytime soon. Actually, this is probably the active deployment right now. That's the uh, 1003. That's also the distributed trace. So I get a trace that shows me what's happening right now. I see that the lifecycle toolkit came in for version 401. It's doing it already did the pre notifications. Now it's actually doing the uh, the workload deployment itself. As the pre notifications have already been executed, I should be able to go over here. Here we go. 11.04, that's my local time. I got two notifications because I specified a pre and post, which means by now I assume the deployment is already done. That means this app should now be here we go, version number four. Um, I should see here all of the information about time between deployments, deployment time. Uh, if I go even further, right, because yesterday I did some tests here. I think so, at least. It should last two days. So I had a couple of more uh, data points here. But yeah, as you can see here, you get automated visibility. Uh, you get automated distributed tracing. And everything is easily configurable. Uh, through CDs because this is what the Captain Lifecycle Toolkit is really all about, right? You only have to specify your Captain configuration tasks and evaluations as CDs, and then you need to annotate your deployments like I did here, Captain workload, Captain version, the pre and post deployment stuff. This basically tells Captain what actions to execute. And yeah, one thing that I've, I forgot to mention in my um, example, the namespace itself needs to be annotated that you want to enable the Captain uh, lifecycle toolkit on that namespace because technically what Captain does, it uh, extends your Kubernetes scheduler and we only do this on uh, those deployments that are in the namespace that is enabled for the lifecycle toolkit. So to get started, um, if you want to run this demo like I did, let me scroll up again. Captain Sandbox KLT on K3S with Argo CD and all the rest. I hope this will help you just as this helps me. It takes five minutes to stand up the whole demo and then play around with it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I would say Happy New Year. Cheers.